It's a big day for Baltimore Ravens, baby, and Ravens fans, and just really NFL fans in general, because tonight, the official NFL schedules will be released. Uh, it's big for Ravens, for players, because now they can really get their travel schedules in order, especially when it comes to their families. Uh, and then with fans, it's the same way, because fans, we plan on attending these games. We want to know exactly when our Baltimore Ravens are going to play, where they're going to play, whether it's going to be prime time or not, whether it's going to be a one pit, whenever the game is going to be. Now we will know officially there of course have been some leaks here and there about the schedule and there will continue to be leaks throughout the day now if anything official comes out because it's on a per game basis now if anything official comes out i will of course let y'all know keep y'all posted uh but if not then we'll just wait till the official schedule drops and then we can all talk about it then but i just wanted to go over some quick things with the baltimore Ravens schedule that we know some quick things that some of us have heard and some things that we have to look forward to. Now, obviously, we know officially the Baltimore Ravens are going to be playing the Chiefs week one, not only to open up their season, but to open up the season. And that is significant because literally the first game that the NFL world is watching is you. It's the Baltimore Ravens. Y'all are going against the Kansas City Chiefs, and y'all going to watch them, watch their Super Bowl videos over again, watch the highlights over again. They're going to be dropping the banners and stuff. They're going to be getting their rings. They're going to be doing a whole Super Bowl celebration. And you are the team that did not prevent them from getting to the Super Bowl. If you would have won that game, then that could have been you doing your thing. But since you lost, you're not. Uh, and that, I'm sure, is going to be festering in the Baltimore Ravens' hearts and their minds, and they're going to be like, man, that should have been us. Well, it could have been, but anyway, that's, that's that. It's over with. But one thing with that that I was thinking about is I actually think the Baltimore Ravens are going to win that game. The reason I say that is because, number one, the Chiefs, they usually start off a little bit slow. Early on in the season, they start off a bit slow, and all these analysts and media people are like, oh, do the Chiefs still got it? Do they still, are they, are they still going to be able to win in the long run? Or are they, say the, are they the same team that they were a couple years ago? Or what? They always do that every year. And then throughout the middle and the end of the season, they catch fire. So we'll see what happens with that. But another thing with the Baltimore Ravens, week one, they usually be on point. They usually be on point. Now, we remember a couple of years ago when um, they lost that Monday Night Football game to the Raiders. Oh, it was so close to you. Uh, but then they, they lost it. Uh, and then we remember back in 2013, the year after they won the Super Bowl to start off the season, it was that scheduling conflict. So I'm going to blame it on that, the scheduling conflict with the Orioles and stuff. And I think the Orioles ain't want to move their game. I forgot exactly what happened, but the Ravens had to play an away game as Super Bowl champions, defending Super Bowl champions. You had to play an away game. Like, that, that ain't how it's supposed to work. But anyway... That's how it worked that season, and it obviously didn't work out for the Ravens because I think Peyton Manning threw like seven touchdowns in that game. But anyway, besides those, under Harbaugh, the Ravens week one, they usually are on point. So that's why I give a little slight edge to the Baltimore Ravens. But we'll, we'll see how things work themselves out. Now, something else that's official with the Baltimore Ravens is their strength of schedule. And we have, of course, talked about that before. But Ravens have one of the top five hardest schedules in the league. And actually, three out of the five teams are from the AFC North. Now, the first uh, hardest schedule in the league, it goes to the Cleveland Browns. And their opponent's win percentage is 54 points, 54%. With the Ravens, they have the second hardest schedule in the league. Their opponent's win percentage is 53%. And the Steelers is also 53%. And tied for fourth place is the Texans and the Packers. So we all knew the Ravens were going to have a tough schedule. Like, one, they play uh, the Chiefs. Can't even say AFC West because what is AFC West is the, the, the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Broncos. And them other teams, they've been sweet recently. The Chiefs, no. They've been looking at the Ravens like the Ravens been sweet, but the Chiefs certainly ain't sweet. But AFC West. But the, the Ravens, had they, they got the number one overall seed last year. Like, when you get the number one seed overall, you can't expect to have a sweet schedule the following year. Well, only if you're the Chiefs, then in that case, they get it. But the Ravens, they don't. It just doesn't work out in their favor like that. And that's okay. Hey, you want to be the best? You got to go against the best, and you got to beat the best. So Baltimore Ravens are just dealing with the cards that they dealt themselves, which is a good thing, and this is a good problem to have. Now, um, one thing uh, also with the Baltimore Ravens schedule that we knew already, but just seeing it, getting a reminder of it, uh, the Baltimore Ravens will not be going international this year. Now, of course, last year they did. They played the Titans uh, in London last year, but this year they will not be international at all. And with international games, I feel like bad for international fans because they want to see some football. They want to see some good football. And, hey, who knows? Maybe these games will deliver, but it's a very top-heavy schedule for the international games. Like you start off the day after the Ravens game with the Packers and the Eagles on Friday night in, in Brazil. 
Uh, so that's going to be new, a new place for the NFL to go. But then following that, uh, you got the Jets and the Vikings. That, that could be solid, depending on if they're going to start Sam Donald. Then, uh, well, just start your rookie. Um, and then you got the Jaguars and the Bears. We'll see what Caleb Williams brings to the Bears. A lot of excitement with that. Uh, and then it's the Patriots and Jaguars and the Giants and the Panthers. And it's like, ugh, yuck. Who wants to wake up early to watch that? I mean, football, it'll make football literally on all day, but who wants to wake up early to watch that? I know every game can't be super exciting or whatnot, but, yeah, I, I just I just wish it would be better for international fans. Because selfishly, like, I want Ravens. I, I would love to watch, wake up early and watch the Ravens play. Uh, just once a year, maybe, but um, for the games that they get internationally, a lot of them be, like, stinkers. It's like, ugh, yuck, this is gross. It's like you wake up and say, oh, football's on, and then you see who's playing, and you're like, oh, no, football's off. I'm going back to bed. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how this Raven schedule goes. Make sure you subscribe uh, so when the schedule drops and we talk about it, you could be one of the first people up in here. I don't know how y'all be up in these videos so quick. I appreciate y'all like crazy, though. But subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss it, and leave a like on the video. So when we do drop a video, YouTube can kindly let you know, like, hey, we on.